Hello YouTube, how are you guys doing today? We are here with our franchise rebuild in MLB The Show 17. We are the or we are playing as the Tampa Bay Rays. It's gonna be interesting. They are one of the worst teams in the league. Um sitting about 20th out of 30. We have our first game up against the New York Yankees division rival New York Yankees and well let's hope this doesn't go downhill too quickly there is definitely potential for this to be not good whatsoever <laughs> I just see this going bad. Uh, let's start off with it. We'll, we'll start with Alex um, or Chris Archer and in, in pitching. One second, guys. And Jordan, the person I'm doing this challenge with, we're trying to decide if we want to do, we want to both play as the Padres instead, or um, not. Because that would be the ultimate challenge right there, is playing as the 30th ranked Padres. We'll start the game just so we can have this as a video and have this video ready just in case. We'll see what happens. Playing our first game against the Yankees. In opening day, on opening day. With that, here's a look at the Yankees starting lineup. Harold, what's their focus as they go for their first win? Well, Matt, Leading this is a pitcher's duel the all the way. And the key Center here fielder. is going to be Ooh, how do you score runs Elf if you get any. Wow, you very quick out there. You're going to have to be aggressive. Get a ball in the gap, and he's on first base. Send him home. Take that those chances because they're not going to be very game. often. Brett. Here's Brett Gardner now, head to head against Chris Archer. He's got eight hits in 34 tries. And additionally, he's gone down on strikes 13 oh, yeah, times. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Little dribbler down the line. That winds up foul. That's a nice pitch right there. He threw him a breaking ball, comes back with a fastball, and now he's late. Now he doesn't know how to adjust. He's kind of caught in between. Ooh, you got to set up Swing and a miss as he good, ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Stepping up to the plate, Gary Sanchez. First Catherine. chance Catherine. for him here in the top Gary of the first with nobody on. Sanchez. Off the plate and away there, one outside. ball, no strikes. That's some good hitting right there. Great eyes. I mean, to recognize that and lay off it right now, that, that was gone. nice. Foul and ball. this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Slow roller back to the mound. And very quick the one, two, three, 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 Standing in, Matt Duffy in past meetings with Tanaka, one for three. 
line towards center field. Right to the center field. Ellsbury is there. Two he pitches gone. two outs very quickly. We got a batting third. Now with the plate, Corey Dickerson. Dickerson. No Corey. one aboard for him, and Dickerson. two gone here in the first. Yeah, here comes the first the pitch. Person. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Now, that's a big swing. That's what the big fella's supposed to do. Look to go downtown. Let it all fly. He let the dog out right there. I want to see if he calms it down or does it again on this pitch. We have four seen that. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Rays go in order. One, two, three. We are still scoreless. Digging in now, Greg Bird. He'll stand in against Chris Archer to get the inning underway. Okay, so that was Bird. one, two, three innings for us. The Yankees also, the Yankees pitching staff. In the second game. I'll ran it in on the fist. Right, really Nothing in one. One strikes. strike now from Archer. No Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0-2. Okay. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really Double. dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. See if he'll swing at this. Ready with another 0 2. And here's a slider strike oh, three called, and that'll be the good. first out of the inning. Here's Starlin Castro, head to head against Chris Archer, four for 12. He also has one home run. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove. And He's he definitely done this. that so far in right the early going. Zone. Looks right like out. he could go pretty deep into this one. Go. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Batting check. Here's Dee Dee Gregorius. Dee Dee First two men Gregorius. in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. There's a fastball right the that just misses. Ball one. Ball Up around time. the letters with that one for ball two. See if we can put this one in. Two and zone. O count and the so pitch. Just swing at this. And a swing and a chance for Longoria at third. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the bomber. Early on. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. And He'll be the one to lead off line. against Masahira Tanaka. Third baseman, Evan Longoria. Scored that one up just a little late. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Matt, he's thrown okay, two okay. pitches right down the middle and got away with them. I don't think he should go back there again, but he's got to locate a little bit better if he wants to put him away. This guy's too good a hitter. Way outside. Way outside. One and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Sanchez gathers and he makes the throw to first. Longoria is retired and there's one away. Now to the plate, Brad Miller. In past meetings with Tanaka, he's got five base hits in 24 at bats. He's also hit three home runs. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Can't make any good solid contact yet. They're Hit right hard on the ground is short. Gregorius has it. And on to first, and there are two down. That's it. Batting six. Here's the catcher, catcher, Wilson Ramos, the winner of last year's Silver Slugger oh. Award for NL Catchers. Okay. Maybe we can hit this one. 
Not his best Never effort mind. that time. It's strike one. He is throwing the ball well. He's rewriting the last name on the back of those jerseys. U-G-L-Y. Those swings are ugly. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Yep, that's all Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Mm. Lifted in the air out to center field. Right. Ellsbury is under it, right and that the ends field. the inning. Down in order, go. One, two, three again. Welcome back to this Let's MLB Network broadcast this. from St. Yeah. Pete, Florida. Nice look there at nearby Clearwater. Matt Holliday standing in now. He's the number Matt seven Holliday. hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. And Holiday swings and misses and falls behind quickly. Nothing in two. This is going to be right down the middle. And this is going to be a foul ball. I'm dead inside. The next 0-2. Like two out. And another I'll foul bet. ball. Yeah. Put this Here's another 0-2. Another foul. Another one sent foul. Another 0 and 2 coming. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Here's Chase Headley. Head to head against Chris Archer. Three base heads in 19 tries. Seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Chris Archer is dealing right now. And that's over but low it's a ball and a strike I like that they went away with that pitch right there they really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch so he was probably what we call inside conscious he didn't get a strike there but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in but again he sends it out of play here he comes again one two Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. We can hit the out. Two to one. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Put this off just outside there. And he's got foul that And he'll too. just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. This is turned into quite an at bat. That's five foul balls. He's seen a lot of pitches. Now another one, two. Dragon. Oh, and there's one well above the zone for a ball. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up this pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them, and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. Uh, pitch is. number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. Ten pitches to get him now batting, Aaron Judge right will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. The wind up and the 0 1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. From the wind up, the 1 1 pitch. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. We'll move on to the bottom. Mid third. Ready now. Colby Rasmus, seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Ellsbury has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Right fielder. Stepping into the box, Steven Souza. In past meetings with Tanaka, he's hitless in six tries. Swing and a liner. Foul ball, though. But foul. Those are six. Not what you want. And 
this will ricochet off of him on the mound. Safe after the recovery throw. Good effort, but now we have to wonder whether or not he's going to be okay. Well, that's a nice Earth infield baseline. single, and was he flying okay. down the line or what? But, man, you should say, hey, he's smelling that base hit right there. He was digging for that hit. Standing in, Logan Morrison. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. We want to get this ball... He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ooh, and here's mind. a pitch inside, and that got him. This is a perfect example of why the slider is such a great pitch and such a dangerous pitch, too. Sometimes it moves so much that you just lose control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result. Kevin Kiermeyer is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. This is pulled into right. Judge back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. The relay throw, and he will make it back to second and be content with holding on there. Oh, ready for another there. chance. Stop. Matt Big Duffy, score. two on, two Duffy. out for him here in the third. Very double play. Tanaka pauses. Here comes the first pitch. That's in there. Base hit. Not your score run. And the throw in gets away from him. But they'll catch a break as the runners are going to stay where they are here as there's no advance. The batter number 10, designated hitter, Corey. Dickerson. Base up here. Into the box now. Corey Dickerson. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. 0. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Little dribbler back at him. On to first, and the Rays are kept off the scoreboard yeah, here as the side. Here's the center fielder, yeah. Jacoby Ellsbury. Back to the top of the Leading lineup the as they're still looking for center their first fielder. base runner in this Jacoby one. No doubt about Ellsbury. that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments Hello. these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Aggressive swings out of him to start this at bat, but he hasn't been able to put the ball in play. Time to use that aggressiveness and make him chase now. Ooh. Ball swung Ooh, on ball. and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Now the pitch Ooh. home to Ellsbury. Pass ball called, strike three, Fucking and there's out. the first out of the inning. Way to start it off there. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Brett Gardner. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Gardner. He found that off. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Chop fouled at the plate here, and it's 0 and 2. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Yeah, Had a the fastball, fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. In time to first, and there are two away. That one looked like it had a chance to be there. Now batting. Digging in to try it again. Gary, Gary Sanchez. Sanchez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Right I through it here, and he's behind 0 and 1. Fourth here. This on the house, just a little off the plate. See if he'll swing at this. He did. Now a oh, swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Well, that's back to back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third? And he'll swing the fastball at him. And he, he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Evan Longoria. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Evan Longoria. Hard liner to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So it's a good start to the inning for the Rays as their leadoff hitter is aboard. 
Well, you make in-game adjustments, right, oh, Matt? I mean, they've had a hard time scoring. Right here, he jumps on the first pitch to get things going, so I see a little Miller. bit of a change. Maybe this is how they jumpstart their offense for the rest of the game. First pitch coming. Here it is. Late swing and ball line foul into the seats past the third base dugout. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Throw on to first, so the sacrifice is successful. Mm -hmm. the runner. Normally don't bunt in in this game. The catcher, number four. Stepping in, Wilson Ramos Wilson. comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Swing and a line Hard drive. Foul. But this will be foul. Runner at second okay, here with one man out. Hit sharply toward the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. Well, that's a line drive single, but the runner's not going to score. Now, remember, with less than two outs, he had to freeze. Hit it a little bit too hard at the wrong guy. He'll take the hit, but no RBI. In now, Colby Rasmus. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Judge looks up. See home run. Bye bye, ball. The wall, a home run. Big swing, and that ball is out of here. There we go. So it's a three run shot to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him as the Rays have opened up Big a three hit, nothing man. lead. That will put us on the board. Next game game open the Into the box, right Steven Souza. Steven Souza. As he'll go after the first pitch and line, line one into right field for a base hit. Well, this ball's hit off the wall. He hit it awfully hard. Now, I thought it was a good now move to stop him. because a lot of times you go, oh, him. he's dogging it. Looked like he was going game. pretty good. But I think they're going to throw him out. Good read to get back to first. Stepping in now, Logan Morrison, as Tanaka jumps ahead of him here at strike one. He was plunked with the pitch in his first trip to the plate. Over the ball. 0 and 1 count, and the pitch. Fought off of the plate as it's chopped foul. Nothing in two count and the pitch lifted the other way to left center. And there's out number two as this is taken in shy of the track and the runner will have to retreat. Not quite hit hard enough. Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Kevin Kiermeyer. He's set and the pitch. There's no, a swing man. and a high drive into left center field. Looking up is Gardner. No, Very well hit ball in that one. Got one out the park too. So a two-run shot to left center. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Rays have opened this up to 5 nothing. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. One for two in the ball game thus far. Hit hard to the right side. Bird gloves it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they nearly bat around. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. He's pulled for one thus far. Greg Bird into the windup and the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Man, I tell you what, I love how he's pitching right now. He has continued to pound that first pitch for strikes. When you do that, you set yourself up for Let's great success. Yep. And boy, yeah. they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Oh, man, he just tied him up in knots right there. This one's flared out toward left. And Rasmus is there to put this ball away for route number one. That's bad. 
The batter number 14. Striding in baseman. once again, Starling Castro. Castro. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. Well, he got him to chase a fastball right there off the plate. He's such a good no, hitter. No, you don't see him chasing out see of the zone very often. That just tells me the pitcher's got pretty good stuff. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0 and 2 now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Yeah. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt, I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. And a two-seam fastball there, but this is chopped fouled at the plate for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A wave and a miss. Boy, Matt, he's in some kind of groove, and they better get something working because he is one pitch away from throwing five. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire. Ready for another shot now, Corey Dickerson. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. First pitch cutter that's by him for strike one. Matt, he's throwing a lot of strikes. Very impressive, right? We just saw a swing and miss, but he may be even more effective if every now and then he throws a ball that's out of the zone because they know he's in the zone. They're being really aggressive. If they have to think a little bit, might not be a strike. It might be good for him. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. That's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third one. Three in a row. No way we're going to see a third one. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, a fastball no, swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on no, strikes. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Number three, Evan Longoria. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a swing by Longoria as this is sent on the ground to short. On to first and a sigh of relief as Longoria is retired easily for the second out. Number 13, second base. Digging in once again, Brad Miller. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. Five runs, seven hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And I'm not sure, but it looks like he may have been blindfolded for that swing. It's 0-2 now. Now the pitch. What is what? And this is chopped foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. Tanaka's ready. Here it is on 0-2. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A leap, but this is out of reach and off the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Well, this guy has proven he can make some athletic plays in the field, and he takes a decent route to the baseball here, but I'm not sure anybody is going to bring this one in. Ends up out of his reach and bangs up off the wall. Brian Mitchell is going to take over here in inning number five, so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. And this is going to be a foul ball. Two out here and a runner at second. Don't want a ground ball here. And base hit. Now a shot out toward the alley in right center. 
And add one more as this is now a 6 nothing ball game. Matt, talk about two out lightning. First two guys are retired. Next guy doubles, and then bam, a single to drive in a run. Two out lightning. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That's lifted the other way out to left. Gardner is there. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. The hits lead to a run here for Tampa Bay. Leading Stepping up now, Matt Holliday. He'll start things out now in the top Holliday. half of the sixth. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Here we are in the middle innings, Matt, and he's over 80% first pitch strikes on hitters. You wonder why he's dominating right now. That's a great ratio, getting ahead and getting them out. And then that's a pretty good example of why go. he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound. But it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Hopped up. Morrison is there for it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Here's big Aaron Judge. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Oh. Ah, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. We're really watching a great performance. This is a good hitting team. He's got two outs already in the sixth inning. We're one out away from watching him get through the sixth with all zeros on the board. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding them on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. So he threw the slider darting away, and he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Digging in once again, Steven Sousa handling things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Mm, a little tardy there, no balls and a strike. That was a first pitch fastball. He just blew it right by him. You talk about an overpowering fastball working today. He's got a good one going. Trying to bunt here, but this winds up hitting him. And they're going to say that he went after it. A strange strike, too. Hey, look out, way inside, ball one. A ball and two strikes, here's the pitch. And he had him set up perfectly there as he's not even close to touching that pitch. And on four pitches, he becomes out number one. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Logan Morrison comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Trying to lay one down here, but he misses strike one. The pitch. Now a late bunt attempt here, but he misses strike two. Pitch on the way. Now a bunt attempt here. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Kevin Kiermeyer. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. From the belt, the pitch. Man, that ball. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little yeah, foul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the 0 1 pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Ellsbury going back at the track. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Yeah, then. Ready for another five. chance? Short Matt stop. Duffy. He got Matt on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hit the other way out toward right field. Judge is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Digging in to try it again. Corey Dickerson, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Swing and a liner, but this will be foul. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. From the belt, the pitch. Yeah, a good swing there as this is deep down the line in right, but this is going to wind up out of play. Has a look, now the pitch. 
Shot back up the middle. Okay. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the it's inning is pass. over. Striding in once again, Jacoby Ellsbury. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Ellsbury. Swung on and missed for the first strike. He's putting together a nice outing so far. It always helps when you get ahead in the count. A little bouncer. That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Down the first baseline. Played on the backhand. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The left fielder, number 11. Here's Brett Gardner now. It's been an 0-for-2 effort for him to this point. Swing and a looper to left. Under it is Rasmus now for route number two. Okay. Now batter. Catherine. At the plate, Gary, Gary Sanchez. Sanchez. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Ball chopped foul right at home plate, and it's 0 and 1. One strike now from Archer. Not all the way not a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only okay. one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And Longoria mm -hmm. will make the catch to retire the side. Mm -hmm. Seven perfect innings. Being a little weird there. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing and in the bullpen. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Gardner going back on it. And this will get on out to the 370 sign now. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Talk about starting off the inning with a bang. Goodness. When this thing left the bat, I thought it was out of here. And I think he might have too. Only made it to the warning track, but he glides into second base with a leadoff double. Brad Miller. Swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. For Longoria, he records his first double of the year here on opening day. The 0-1 pitch. And this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. From the stretch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Gardner on the move and this will fall but it's a foul ball now another 0 2 hard hit ball to second and this will be an RBI as the run comes in to score from third and here with the infield back they were giving him the run on a ground ball so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home good approach uh, had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. Wow, not sure what that was, but talking about having your mind made up, you're going to swing before the pitcher even throws a pitch. I don't know how you swing at that pitch. And this is going to find the gap for his third hit of the afternoon. This one for extra bases. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. Ready once again, Kobe Rasmus. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round triple back in the fourth. Popped high in the air. Gregorius is there for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Okay. Now batting, Steven Souza. Two hits in three at-bats for him in this one. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And this one's in the dirt. The throw will go to third. And he is safe at third as he moves up on what's likely to be ruled a wild pitch. Seven runs, 13 hits. And no errors for Tampa Bay so far. This is line to left. Be, uh, in be there. Base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. A wild pitch. Man, he turned on that fastball right there. Ripped the line drive and scored the run easy. First baseman, number seven. Stepping Logan into the box, Morrison. Logan Morrison. He's one for two in the ball game. Fastball hit on the ground is short. He'll send it on to Castro at second, and the inning is over. There. 
Now at the plate, Greg Bird. He'll have the first crack at it here as we start inning number eight. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. The wind up and the 0 1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. Ready now, Starling Castro. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. And this will be fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled straight back. Looking to send him packing again. Got him. Four outs away from his date with history. Here's Didi Gregorius. No I'm hits in two game. trips to the plate for Don't him stop. in the ball game. Didi Gregorius. And this ball is crushed deep down the right Get field out. line. Go foul. And mm, nearly into the hit column in a big way. Instead, it's a foul ball. And this is fouled back and out of play. Two out, nobody on. Got him! So that's eight perfect innings, and the fans can feel it now as the side is retired. Yes. In now, Kevin Kiermeyer. He went deep and earlier, and he's two for four to this point. Center fielder, Kevin. High fly Kiermaier. ball out to straightaway center. Ellsbury is right under it. He's center. got it one away. The batter number five. Ready for another stop. shot now. Matt, Matt Duffy. Duffy. He flew out in his last at bat. Try this again. And fouled back. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Throw to first will get him as they pounce on it quickly to snuff out the bunt attempt. Now batting. Designated header. Stepping in, Corey Dickerson, Dickerson. Looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Now a shot toward the gap in left center. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by no matter what. Work the count, make the pitcher waste a few pitches. But when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it. And that's just what he does. He jumped all over it. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Dickerson rounds third and is digging for the plate. And the runner from second is in to score. Well, he went up there with the game plan looking for one specific pitch, and he got it. He hit it hard. When the guy hit the ball that hard, you know he was looking for it. Here's the first pitch to him. Brad Miller is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. A one count. Here's the pitch. Trying to bunt here, but this winds up hitting him. And they're going to say that he went after it. A strange strike, too. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Here comes another 0 2. Now a bunt attempt here. Throw yeah. on to first, oh. gets him, and the side is retired. Yeah. I can't. Matt Holliday standing in now. Starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Comes with a slider there as it's lifted down the line in left. Westman is there, one away. Okay. Here's Chase Headley. He's nice pulled for two thus Chase far in this one. Headley. Here's the first pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Matt, this is getting a little ridiculous. That strike right there puts in at 90 percent of hitters. He's throwing first pitch strike two. You do that, yeah, you're going to dominate lineups. 
Well, he came at him with the same pitch. Now he finds himself down 0-2. You just got to anticipate he's going to try to triple it up. Not just double, but triple. I'm looking for that pitch right now again. Ground ball right side, straight into the ship. And One more out. On first himself for the out. Here's Big Aaron Judd. He represents the 27th and many hope final batter in this masterful performance. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0 and 1. The 0 1. Come on, and this one's pitch. chopped foul right at home plate. Now, what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. And this is fouled straight back. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. And a good two strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0 2. Slider on the way. Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, so 27 down, down and he, he barely he broke the sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and, all of sports, and I'm just excited. I was here to be a part the of it. Lido Perfection team, is just, always beautiful. I just threw a perfect game. Well, you don't have to look too far to find our tops player of the game. I'd say any time you throw a perfect game, you'd be a pretty strong candidate. Yeah, no need to offer any debate this time. All you have to do is look at the box score. No hits, no walks, not even a base runner. We talked about his brilliance all game long, and you can bet he's going to celebrate this one tonight. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game was victorious race. One second, guys. Nine runs, but, that, 16 hits. Yeah, I don't no think that's going to be on the left own. eight men on base. It'll be a rebuild for the Yankees. Like, yeah. No runs on no hits, no errors. They left Nine no runs runners zero on Zero hits, base. zero earned runs, 15. Right the winning the pitcher no is Chris Archer. His record is now 1-0. The last goes but to that's Masahiro gonna Tanaka. do it for this video, he guys. Thank y'all for watching. I don't quite know how the, where this will go up for because, yeah, that was the Rays are not really according to the game. The Rays aren't a good team, but yeah, that just that did happen. Quite an impressive. There. Sunglasses to use and a Diamond Dynasty card that I'm not gonna use. Okay, well, um, yeah. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Have a good afternoon, evening, something. Have a good one. Peace out. Stay classy. Bye, YouTube.